Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Sheng Shao 7x7. I ordered this before I left for the Colorado competition, and uh, I, it was waiting for me when I got home, so I'm going to open it on up. Nothing left. Um, got a receipt. Um, so I guess I got uh, seven by stickers and a blade also. Um, I'm not sure why, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I have new seven by seven stickers. Stop moving camera. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. So here's the 7x7 in its case. Um, normal stuff. It's a Shang Shao slash Ghost Hand type box. Um, it's a 7x7 on it. it out. Comes in a bag. Boom. Um, so, first turns. It's a bit uh, dry. But otherwise, uh, fairly decent. Uh, it's much like the 6x6, six six, it turns in the same type of manner. Um, and it's very nice, it's very smooth. Um, I'm going to have to put some lube in it and make it better uh, but other than that it, it's very nice it has a white side which is nice and normal stickers so maybe I'll actually be able to solve 7x7 seven seven now uh, because my pillowed cube that I had was absolutely terrible so hey guys today I'm going to be doing a review of the Shang Shao 7x7 seven I'm going to start off with a size comparison. Uh, this is to a V-cube type cube. This isn't exactly a V-cube, but it's a, uh, it's a knockoff version. But um, as you can see, it is actually a little bit smaller height-wise and width-wise. Uh, I think that if you took the maximum point of the pillowed, and made it square, they would be almost exactly the same size. Um, but uh, at the end of the pillow, they are almost exactly the same height. So it's not like it's anything bigger. It feels bigger because it's uh, not rounded like this, uh, but it's almost the same size, so nobody should have a problem. The turning and the turning speed of this cube are just absolutely ridiculous. Um, as you can hear, it's almost non-existent. There's no clicky. And I'm not even using that much pressure. Uh, the inside layers uh, can turn on their own. Uh, and they're quite a bit faster than the outside layer. I'm not sure if that's just my cube or if that's all of them. I've only really felt this one. So, but it's a very fast turning. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. And it's turning is very smooth and uh, fluent, which is just absolutely amazing. Uh, and I really enjoy it. It's very much like the 6x6. has the same type of turning ability. Uh, it's a little bit less clicky and more smooth, but that's not a big deal. The corner cutting of this cube is nothing special, but you don't really need it because it's such a big cube. Uh, and, I mean, you can cut about a half a cubie uh, before it starts to freak out. Corner cutting is almost non-existent, uh, but you only need that for 3 by 3 stage, and it uh, you can't turn it fast enough, or I can't turn it fast enough to have to worry about that uh, but 
it does it is springy it's not a big deal you you can corner cut I mean middle layer so I mean it's not like it's not there it's just you don't use it very often um, before it and then so yeah The sticker quality on this cube are just like any, but any Shang Shao, I mean, um, they look almost exactly the same, except for my 6x6 is a little bit more worn out. Um, that's what the colors look like. So, I mean, it's nothing you have to worry about unless you use a different color scheme. I enjoy them, they don't peel, they sometimes chip, but. That's only after after a lot of use. Um, so overall, really good quality, really good color distinction, no problem there. Um, for pieces, I'm not really going to show you anything because I don't want to take it apart. I mean, yeah, it's just too complicated, and I haven't even taken it apart on my own. I just uh, moved it and like this and put some lube on each of the layers and then each of these layers and then mixed it up uh, so I haven't taken it apart and I really don't want to so you guys will have to live without the pieces if you want to you can get one and look at it yourself or wait till it explodes and look at it yourself talking about explosions I might as well talk about pops and lockups uh, this cube doesn't not a I haven't had any problems the couple of times that I've solved it but uh, it it does want to pop I mean you can see that that's that it just it wants to if you overturn and then try to move a couple layers um, but I don't think there'll be anything real bad there probably will be a couple of explosions from people um, just trying to turn it too fast and too hard but I mean, it does lock up a little bit. Uh, I had some problems with my when I was doing my centers uh, of just layers getting out of the line and then me trying to turn them and getting weird stuff to happen. But you can always just pat it back down and it's uh, perfectly fine. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, would I recommend this? Yes, I would recommend this to everyone. Uh, this cube is great. It it turns it turns awesome it it's i i like it better than the regular 6x6 even of any v cubes that i felt and i felt a bunch uh this just it doesn't have that clicky it's very smooth and fluent and uh just overall awesome uh, so yeah i would consider getting it it's i got it from iq mart as you guys saw in the unboxing uh and it was 37 dollars uh you can find it cheaper elsewhere um, and you can find it cheaper in China if you want to order, but I wanted it quick and easy and fast, so I ordered it from uh, IQ Mart, and it really wasn't that expensive. It was a bit for shipping, but uh, overall, I think I spent like $44. But for a 7x7, that's absolutely amazing. <laughs> I'm not going to complain, considering that a V Cube is. $41 not including shipping. This was only $37. So it's either you spend $50 on a V-Cube that you have to break in or $45 on a uh, Shang Shao that you don't have to and all you have to do is lube it and it's absolutely great. So in conclusion, I say just go out and get it. Thanks for watching my video by the way. Uh, the cube is awesome. It does seem a little bit big but uh, seen as it's quite a bit bigger than the 6x6 uh, and then I mean, it's almost only goes up to almost leaves a whole last layer but for a 7x7 it's the right size it's square and I like that better than pillowedness and I find it easier to solve this way than having a pillowed one for some reason plus it has a white side not a black one so go ahead and get it awesome cube uh, Thanks for watching my review, and I'll see you next time.